You know, guys, research has always been one of those things that demands time, focus, and a lot of juggling between platforms. One day you're reading PDFs, the next day you're formatting citations manually or rewriting an abstract for the fifth time just to get past the submission system. But what if I told you there's now a single tool that pulls all of those steps together and gives you actual research superpowers? I'm Daniel, and today I want to show you something genuinely useful if you're in the academic world. It's called SciSpace Agent, and it might just be the smartest AI tool built specifically for researchers, students, and scientists. I've spent some serious time testing it over the last few days, and I've got a lot to say. And just a heads up, if you're watching this close to the release date, there's also a nice little bonus in the end. So make sure you stick around till we wrap things up. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump in. So, my friends, the first thing you need to know is that this isn't another write me an essay tool. SciSpace Agent is different. It's been built from the ground up for academic work. This is for people who deal with real research problems and long academic texts. It offers the kind of precision you just don't get from a general purpose chatbot. And the wild part, guys, is that it doesn't just help with writing or citations. The agent is designed to actually work across your entire research workflow. Whether you're running a literature review, or working on a manuscript draft, it steps in seamlessly. And folks, it can also assist with more specialized tasks, like finding grants or turning your findings into a scientific poster. You can think of it as a digital lab partner that understands both the technical depths and the academic formats. And once you're in, guys, it's honestly a clean and pretty intuitive space to work with. Everything's neatly organized, the tools are right where you need them, and it doesn't overwhelm you with too many choices up front. Here's how it works, folks. You start with a prompt, anything from summarize this paper to write a structured review. Once you hit enter, the agent takes over. Behind the scenes, it searches academic databases, pulls in relevant sources, parses the content, and generates a draft that's clear, well-structured, and properly cited. Guys, it all happens in real time. You see each step, searching, filtering, and compiling. So you're not guessing what the AI is doing. Now, on to writing. If you have ever stared at a blank page, the AI writer makes that easier. It helps you build an outline, draft your intro, insert real citations, and even generate tables from published data. Folks, I tested the agent on a fairly technical topic, graphing in biomedical sensors. I wanted to see how it would handle a domain-specific task with real-world complexity, where accuracy and structure both really matter. It started by generating a clean, structured outline that followed proper academic conventions. Each section was logically ordered, using familiar headings like introduction, methods, and results. This instantly gave me a clear path to follow and saved a lot of planning time up front. Then, guys, it moved on to the introduction. It didn't just generate generic content, it pulled citations from actual peer-reviewed sources. These were integrated seamlessly into the text, properly formatted and contextually relevant. The tone felt academic, folks, but still readable. Everything was labeled clearly, with consistent structure across entries. It looked like something you'd expect to see in a published review paper, not something auto-generated in minutes. That alone made it worth trying. I still reviewed everything and made adjustments where needed, but the foundation was solid. It gave me a serious head start on a task that normally eats up hours. Now, my friends, let's say you're working on a new biomedical device, maybe a non-invasive glucose monitor that uses graphene biosensors. Before moving forward, you want to make sure your idea hasn't already been patented or published. So I ask it to find relevant prior art for the idea. It instantly begins scanning through patent databases, research archives, and academic sources to identify anything that overlaps or comes close. A few minutes later, guys, I get a full list of results that relate to the idea. It includes the title, a short description, sometimes even the date and filing details, along with direct links to the original sources. I can click into any one of them to dig deeper or just scan through the list to get an overall sense of what already exists. It's not just fast, it's organized in a way that actually helps you make informed decisions about where your work stands. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. One of the features I keep coming back to is something called fine concepts. If you've ever tried to wrap your head around a dense research paper, 
you know how overwhelming it can be. This is especially true when the paper is in a field that's new to you folks. Technical language, complex structures, long citations, unfamiliar frameworks, it's a lot to take in. What this tool does is pretty clever. You just paste the text of the paper or upload it as a PDF and the agent starts working behind the scenes. It scans the full content of the paper and pulls out the essential building blocks, the key concepts, recurring technical terms and the connections between them. And guys, it doesn't just summarize the surface, it goes deeper and highlights the ideas that actually shape the research. So instead of digging through 20 dense pages over and over again, you get a clear, well-labeled breakdown in just a few seconds. It's a smart way to orient yourself in a new field or prep for a literature review. Now let's go beyond just writing. Folks, this is where SciSpace really separates itself from other AI tools. Because once you've written your content, it doesn't just stop there. Say you want to turn a research paper into a presentation. Normally you'd be fiddling with PowerPoint, thinking about layout, copying content manually. Here you simply upload your paper and the AI gets to work converting it into a complete academic slide deck. Guys, there are no templates and no manual formatting. It starts building the structure automatically. And it's not a generic or one-size-fits-all presentation either. The slide deck features a comprehensive title page, a complete table of contents, and well-defined sections with summaries. It also includes recommended talking points and relevant visuals that complement the paper's central theme. It's designed to look like something you'd actually present at a conference. Another tool that's worth highlighting, folks, is the AI detector. This one's a bit different, but equally useful, especially if you're on the publishing or academic supervision side of things. The idea is simple. You paste in a block of text or upload a document and the agent analyzes it. It detects how much of the text was likely written by a bot. Now, to be clear, guys, this isn't something most researchers will use every day. But if you're reviewing manuscripts, grading student submissions, or even managing your own writing integrity, it could be a useful assistant. I ran the detector on a research abstract just to see how the tool handles academic writing. It flagged the text as likely AI-generated and provided a breakdown, explaining what led to that result. Certain phrases, sentence patterns, and structural elements were highlighted, things the system associates with machine-generated content. It also helps reveal how artificial intelligence leaves a stylistic fingerprint. The detector offers an extra layer of visibility. This is true whether you're reviewing submissions, preparing your own work, or simply curious about how AI leaves a stylistic fingerprint. Honestly, guys, every time I use SciSpace, I find some small feature I didn't even realize I needed, and that's kind of the magic of it. It's clearly built by people who know how researchers actually work. So, my friends, who exactly is this tool for? If you're a PhD student trying to juggle reading, writing, and deadlines, it's for you. If you're a postdoc or academic publishing regularly, it's for you. Even if you are outside the traditional university structure, for example, working in a lab or a private research team, the agent can help. It significantly improves how you manage documents. And what's great, guys, is that it's not limited to STEM. Whether you're in humanities, social science, engineering, or life sciences, you'll find that the tool adapts to your field. You just have to give it the right prompt and it runs with it. My friends, after spending time with SciSpace Agent, it's clear this isn't just another academic AI tool. What makes it stand out is how well it understands the real flow of research. It supports everything from reviewing papers to producing polished, usable outputs. It doesn't feel like a gimmick or something rushed out the door, guys. It's built with care and it genuinely makes the writing and review process smoother without taking control away from you. You're still in charge, just without the repetitive work. If you're curious to try it out, the link's in the description. There's also a limited time offer on add-on credits, and I'll send you the code directly. Just drop a comment with SciSpace Agent or let me know what you're working on. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like or subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.